Oh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. What's up, everybody? I am 8 Vic, and welcome back to Dredge. Now, I wasn't a thousand percent sure if I was going to continue playing a little bit of the demo before the game actually comes out at the end of this month. And yes, I am, obviously, because because we're all here together. And you have to forgive me. I did play a little bit of this off camera, and I did do a couple things. I did get a couple fish, and I got some money. Like, a lot of money, actually. Um, let me turn back around. Guys, I'm loving this game so far. I really, really, really can't wait for it to come out. Okay, so. If you look at the top right, I have $5,000. I've done some work. I've done some work, right? Uh, in the first video, we, we did get this key. Um, I loaded the save back up. And it plops you right back into the game right before uh, you give the guy the key. So, we have that. Um, I found this, the sinew spindle. I will show where I found this. Um, not really a spoiler. I'm not 100% sure what this does. The other fishing pole that I have right over here, over my storage locker, uh, it's a basic fishing pole, catches coastal fish, 38% fishing speed, right? And this one, coastal and shallow, 6% fishing speed. But this one does shallow as well. So this one does both, unlike this one over here. So I'm just not sure. Like, it doesn't seem like it's the fastest fishing pole, but maybe there's something else to it. I don't know. So I have it installed uh, just to mess with it and see. Uh, also, let's go to the encyclopedia real quick because um, I think I've caught all the fish I can probably catch in the demo. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Check it out. I got, I fished a lot. Look at this. I caught 83 blue mackerels. So I got, I got all the aberrations for these. These little guys are, this, these fish are amazing. Uh, I just pressed a bunch of buttons and now we're not there anymore. There we are. Yeah, I got all the aberrations for the cod. I got the arrow squid ones and the gray eels. Uh, some of these I did catch on camera. Some of these I didn't catch on camera. I apologize. We're going to do some more fishing. Uh, and hope maybe we'll catch some more. This little guy down here, I thought was amazing. With the big eyeball, a sprawling jelly mass spills from the single eye socket. What appears to be a dark pupil is in fact the center of an egg. One thing I do wish is that you could come up here and click on the main picture uh, and see like a big blown up picture of, uh, of the fish. Even if it's, you know, not a 3D model, just the artwork would be cool. And then we did finish um, the four books. I think uh, the last video before I reached, I reached the end of the demo, I was uh, in the process of actually reading this book, The Engineer's Companion. That one's complete now, and it gives you 10% uh, durability. Um, it slows down durability loss uh, by 10% for some of the things. So I'm guessing like the crab traps and stuff. So um, let's swim around. Let's swim. Let's sail around to the backside. It's raining today. I think I mentioned in the first video I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to get get Dredge on PC or or um, a Switch. Uh, I'm definitely getting it on the Switch. I know there's been some talk about uh, a little bit of lag here and there with the controllers, especially when using Joy-Con controllers. Sometimes uh, some people have noticed some issues when playing the the, the fishing game, uh, the little mini game, trying to get the little you know the signs as it spins. Um, I did notice the same thing with the Joy-Cons, but I also play with my system docked and with the Pro Controller, and I haven't noticed any issues. Um, with as many people that has mentioned the, uh, uh, you know, having the little bit of lag on the Joy-Con controller, I'm sure the devs are already on top of it, and if that's if that's an issue, they're, they're going to get it fixed. So I'm not concerned about it at all. I'm going to get it on the Switch so I can play casually on and off my TV, on the go, whatever I want. So, But, okay, so this here... Is on the back side of the Great Amero Island, obviously. Uh, can I go up to it anymore? I don't think I can. Since uh, I already did it, I uh, can't show you anything. Well, whatever. Okay, then. That's where I got that. Um, when the full game does come out, I will be starting a new save file and uh, starting a fresh game from, a game from scratch and, and playing the hell out of this. Completely on camera. No off-camera uh, sailing or fishing allowed. Let's grab a couple of these guys. Ooh. 
Oof, that's a big one. These stingrays actually sell for a pretty nice penny. Oh, can I not fit it there? No, I can't. Okay. All right. All right, let's go sell those. Let's sell these fish that we caught. Yeah, these stingrays sell for 58, around 60. 60 bucks, that one's a little bit smaller. Okay. We got some crab traps that I want to go check out. Everything's fine. Perfectly fine. Alright, let's sell all those. Alright, 96 bucks for all those. Not bad. So, I talked to the mayor. Uh, this is off camera too, of course. I talked to the mayor and he said something about it being weird that there's no longer... Uh, a red light back here and I remember seeing it sometimes you would see a big red light glowing on the back of this island and sometimes you did it I don't see it now and I don't know uh, if it's coming back or what the heck it's even about so I don't know if we need to go out there at night or not I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to do or what I'm not supposed to do so we're just going to carefully kind of go around here in the fog take it easy. Our guys, you know, kind of panicked a little bit. Do our best not to run into anything. Hey, look at that. Should we turn off our light? I don't know if that's a good idea. I have an idea. Hey, they answered. And now they're gone. Not sure if I'm supposed to do that or not. Also, I think we're supposed to keep it kind of slow at night, right? There's another ship out there, too. This fog is hardcore. Should we be concerned with the ship? Should we be concerned with whatever that was? That's glowing right here next to me.
Are they coming towards us? Looks like they are. Yeah, they're coming towards us. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. What is it? Oh, there's a rock there. What are they doing? Whoa. Where's the island? I'm nowhere near the island. I'm going the wrong way. That's not where I meant to go. I meant to go this way. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? No. What the? F what in the heck was that? My poor ship. Oh, you bastard. Okay, well, all right, I didn't lose anything, and we've taken the maximum amount of damage. Uh, okay, so we should go in here. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have messed with the ship. Maybe we shouldn't mess with them. See, that thing popped up. That's not supposed to be there at all. Look at that. It's not really there, or is it really there? All right, let's, let's just do this. Let's go in here. Let's get our ship repaired. Let's get him some rest. Uh, okay, so... We have learned to avoid the other ships. That crimson glow in the sky seems to have gone away. The air feels quieter now, or settled. Have you noticed? See, that's what I'm talking about. The glow is gone. I don't know what that means. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't. Uh, let's go ahead and repair everything. That was crazy. So I wonder how much damage... Uh, it looked like maybe that was a, a creature, maybe not a ship, I think. I wonder how much damage it would have actually done to my ship if I hadn't run into a rock. I don't know. All right. Let's uh, let's let this guy get some sleep. All right. Does the mayor have anything new to say? Uh, I asked him about all these regions already. Yeah, I already clicked all these. We did that in the in the first video for the demo. Okay. Well, that was unpleasant. I show you something else that I noticed that I can't do anything with at the moment. And I don't know if I can or not yet. I haven't figured it out. But right here, there's this random question mark over here. A stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone, sure. Cold stone does not respond to your touch. Nothing. So, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. There's also another one over here, I think. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, what's this? A pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. Ah. There is something back there. Uh, it looks like it might be a spot to dredge, possibly. Well, I don't have any explosives. <laughs> so, uh, that's out of the question. Not going to do that today. I think this is the other stone I was talking about. Same thing. Not 100% sure what those things are about. So by default, the controller is set to um, automatically center once you start sailing. Um, I've turned that off because there were times where I wanted to change my view while sailing straight and I had to keep fighting the automatic movement. So for some people you may like it on in the beginning I did, but I like, um, once I got used to the movement speed of the 
of the ship and, the, and got used to the controls. I like, uh, you know, just throwing right stick into the center of my own camera. Like that time, uh, like just last night where I got chased by whatever that was. Um, I was able just to keep the keep sailing straight while changing my view and keeping whatever it is that I'm running away from in camera. So I like I like that having that ability. Look at the colors on the wind. Sounds like it's going to be another stormy night. Do we have space in our cargo for, um... Nah. We'll let the crab traps fill up and then we'll just pick them all up at the same time. Got some flounder for you, man. Fifty two hundred bucks. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Shipwright, yeah. A simple skimmer. You know, this thing hold on a second. Okay, so The wade line pole is for shallow water. This does both shallow and coastal, right? 6% speed there. This one does 44 speed. I wonder if I can get... Hold on, let's try something. I can't rotate it, right? Yeah. So, let's put it in storage. Let's just try this. Let's uninstall this one. Right? Put it in storage. And then quickly go to storage. Grab this new pole. The simple skimmer. Right? Um, go to cargo. Install it here. Okay, now we can, sh we can fish in shallow waters and coastal waters. Right? But also, we still have... Our original pole. I wonder if we can... Should be able to put both of them in there, right? And stack them? Yeah, okay. So I don't know if this is any better, but... <laughs> we have 38% uh, of this coastal... On this basic fishing pole that does for coastal fish. This one does coastal and shallow. And this one does just shallow. So I don't know if my overall fishing speed is higher, because like an idiot, I didn't look at it. What was that? Did y'all hear that? Like a big horn? Or is that the volcano they talked about that sometimes you hear from here? That was loud. So yeah, anyways, I think uh, we actually got overall a faster fishing speed. And that's probably why they have this. So that you can get something that would allow you to fish in coastal... Uh, you know, catch fish in coastal regions and be able to kind of max out by stacking your fishing poles. At least that's what I'm taking from it. So, should we, uh, you know what I mean, just kind of take a look out here, maybe sail around carefully, maybe try to stay away from the other ships, or should we go inside? I don't know. I know there's stuff to do, and I know the game tells you not to go out at night, but I think you're also supposed to. Like, you're not supposed to, but you're supposed to. You know what I mean? It's like one of those, where, like, your parents told you not to do something as a kid, and then you just did it anyway. I don't know. At a minimum, you know what I mean? Why don't we just maybe carefully go through here? See what's up back here, maybe? Oh, what's that? A 
I saw lights here. I don't see lights anymore. Yeah, what's this? Whoa. Uh. There's a ship over there. We gotta go. Yeah. Oh. Damn it. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Oh. oh my goodness, bro, stop running into things. I don't know if they saw me and they were following me, or they sound pretty close. Hey, what's up, Gaddy? What's up, buddy? So I don't know what the heck that was. Hmm. Ooh. Fisherman, what is it? You look a touch troubled. Is the fog starting to get to you? Completely normal around here, nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be right as rain by morning. You'll be right as rain. Huh. All right, well, let's get our ship fixed up again. Well, it's a good thing we've done so much fishing and we stacked up so much money because repairs are getting expensive. All right, let's let this guy rest a little bit. Fresh day, let's head out. Let's go check in the crab traps. Actually, I'll wait for all the lights to go off. When uh, when they need repairs, the lights will go out. But if you leave them there the whole time, it's pretty much like they're going to have a bunch of crab on them. And I believe, someone can correct me in the, in the comments if, uh, if I'm wrong about this. I believe if you see these little lights above a fishing spot, I believe that's kind of an indicator that you probably have a good chance. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to fish here. You probably have a good chance of catching... Uh, and, uh, an aberration fish. See? I've just noticed I've gone to some of those fishing spots where they have those weird lights, and almost every time I've caught one of these, so I feel like that's a thing. Alright, so we got a couple things. That's fine. Yeah, now the lights are gone. Yeah, I feel like that's a thing. So that spot that we went through in here. Those lights aren't here anymore. can we actually go out here? Can we go like two islands that we are not supposed to go to yet or no? Oh. What was that? Okay. Let's leave. That's not good. <laughs> I guess you can't go out there. Not bueno. But I'm also curious, like, what happens if you go out there? <laughs> All 
start heading in, I guess. What was that? Bring all sorts of noises now. Getting in a little late, actually, aren't we? Oh, wait. Might be some, uh, special little fishies in this spot. Nah, it's standard black grouper. Can I maybe move some of these around to get something working here? Let's see. I might be able to fit one more in here. Let's try. Um... What's that noise? Alright. Alright. I'm all on edge now knowing that those uh, other ships basically want me dead. Uh, okay. I'm not going to try to squeeze anywhere in. I don't think I can. Alright, let's sell what we got. I mean, I got a weird eel for you. 46. See, I'm pretty sure I just... We got lights over there now. That might just be that... That ship right there is what we're hearing, I'm guessing. Ooh, I managed to fit the whole thing in there, huh? All right, let's take those back real quick. I don't have enough room for the rest. Got some fish to sell you, sir. See, he's saying it too. Hmm, haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what it was. Did the red light maybe come from the relic being underwater? Could that have been it? Um, was this the source of the red light? I don't know. Also, I got some rot in here. <laughs> I left something in here and it died. Probably a crab. I don't know. All right, let's get those other ones fixed. All right, let's set those back out there. All right, so I mean, I don't know what else is in the demo, but I think that's about it as far as I can tell. Um, so I'm going to do is I'm going to set sail in this direction. At this point, this might be a spoiler. I don't know. But uh, I'm assuming I can't just keep on going on forever. I'm going to go ahead and sign off of this video here. Let me know if I missed anything in the demo itself. Let me know what you think about Dredge. If you're planning on pre-ordering it, what you're going to get it on. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing this. I'm looking forward to seeing what else is in the game. Spending some time in it. Happy fun. Look, sailing with the dolphins. Um, and yeah, guys. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, see y'all in the next video.